It's Madame Wario again, and welcome back to more advice on how to make Let's Plays. I'm going to be discussing choosing a game in this video. So, choosing your first game to Let's Play. Um, it's always a big one. It's a huge deal. It's, um, you know, something that you should be excited about, not so much afraid of. I feel like a lot of people get afraid of it first. They're like, oh my god, if my first game is horrible, I'm never going to be able to come back. Seriously everyone feels like no matter what they do it's going to be not the greatest thing first off um, I know everybody's self-conscious at first everybody thinks oh you know you have to be perfect and get all these like rules straight no it's just whatever you want to do um, choosing a game I think as a let's player when you first become a let's player you personally probably put a lot more pressure on it than you should, myself included. I did this too. I know I was like, oh my god, I, that's probably dumb, but whatever. I'll just put it out there anyway. The point is, if you just put it out there anyway, I promise it will not be as bad as you think. It will probably be really good. Um, so don't worry about it so much. Um, first off, choosing a game. Um, it can be tricky because I'm sure that at this point in time you haven't done any Let's Plays yet so you've got like 200 games floating around your head going, oh my god, I could do this and I could do that and this game is so fun but I, I love this game and I don't know. Um, there are two things uh, that I think make a huge difference if you start with these particular games for you. Number one, I would start out with a game that I am very familiar with, that I know a lot about. I've played it for a long time, I know you know everything about it, or if not everything, a lot about it, to the point where I am confident saying, no, I know this, um, going into the game. Second, I would choose a game that I really, really like and could talk about for two hours to no one, you know? like you walk up to a friend, meet somebody, and they're like, oh, I really like this game. And you're like, oh my god, I love this character. And this person is so awesome. And when this happens in the game, I freak out. And, you know, where you just could keep talking and talking and talking to the point where people would be like, why is this person still talking about this? You know, that game is the game that you really love, seriously. So go with a game you love and go with a game you know really well. Um, for me, that was Mario Party. I went with my favorite game ever right off the bat. I didn't save it for later. I didn't save it for a brighter day when I had, you know, 10 million subscribers and, you know, then I'm going to let's play my favorite game. No, I did it when I had zero. Um, right off the get-go, you need to play the game that is your favorite, your best, what you could talk about all day. So that's what I did, and I did that with Mario Party, and that's what I would advise because I was so comfortable talking about that game, and I was so excited to talk about it that I could. And, you know, in addition to that, Mario Party is not, you know, a, you know, one, ten minutes, and you're to a new world, and the video's over. No, it's you know, 45 minute board that you have to talk through. So, um, yeah, that is my biggest advice there is go with something you really love and you really want to talk about and you really know a lot about. Um, something I would advise you not to do, do not play a brand new game that just came out on the market. Number one, there's no way you know that much about it. Um, number two, you're probably not playing it for the right reason. Um, for example, as I'm making this video, Mario Party 9 came out about um, a little over a week and a half ago. If I Let's Played that, you know, say I became a Let's Player today and I started a Let's Play of Mario Party 9, there is no way that I would know everything about it and it would just be, you know, maybe I could have played it every single day of my life. It's still, it's too soon. It's almost like people know you're just doing it to be the first one who's done it. It's it goes back to not being genuine. It's amateurish, it doesn't seem genuine, it's like, oh, I wanted to be the first one to get this out there. It's too egotistical to do it that way. So stay away from brand new games. Um, I'm sure you've always heard Slim Kirby talk about the three-month rule. Uh, for me, that rule's a 
lot longer personally for me I like to wait a year until after the game has come out at least a year or close to a year before I think about let's playing it um, but really if you know that's my own personal thing but three months is a good amount of time to wait because then you've had time to play it people have had time to get it get to know it people don't like spoilers I know that much too if you get a brand new game and you advertise it and people see it they're gonna be angry in a lot of cases because they're gonna be like you spoiled it for me I've been there I've been around people who you know I've been one of those people who's done that and I've been like I want to discover it for myself you know so I don't want to watch somebody playing the whole thing before I've done it um, and um, I just made a recent update and I talked about Skinly19 he's doing a let's play of Pokemon Black you know what I picked up the game last year when it first came out played it for like two weeks and then got really into Pokemon Heart Gold again I didn't want to watch that let's play until I started playing the game again because I wanted to watch the let's play after I had you know discovered what was in the game for myself then it was fun to watch the let's play and go oh my god I remember this you know that is just how it is um, that's how people tend to feel about that so don't feel like you have to play a brand new game um, another bit of advice uh, which this is not this is not a full proof comment but I would advise you to stay away from making an RPG your very first um, let's play I haven't done many RPGs at this point in time I've only done Paper Mario for N64 and um, The Sims Bustin' Out for Game Boy Advance which were both RPG games they are much longer um, a lot more tedious you have to do a lot of editing so if you're not really that familiar with editing yet you might want to stay away from those um, it's not to say that you can't though because I know that um, I believe that I think Mega Freak 400 started with that game that was his first let's play maybe I apologize Mega if you're watching this and I'm wrong um, but you know he's one of my favorite let's players I love his work he does a great job and um, he definitely has a very particular style to his um, videos that he makes and I, I love it it's perfect um, for my taste but um, he's somebody who I believe started with Let's Play Paper Mario, an RPG, and did it well. So it's not to say that you can't do it, it's just to say that it's a lot more work and it's a lot more time consuming than you might be ready for at this point in time. Um, so I would advise to stay away from that, start with something smaller. Um, you're going to be more comfortable doing that probably. Um, if you want to challenge yourself, you know, go for it, but if you drop out halfway, that's probably not going to look so good on your channel. Um, so that's kind of my advice for choosing a game. So um, that's what I would say about that. Um, something else you might want to keep in mind, and this is kind of just my own personal thing that I do. Um, whenever I choose a game, I like to stick with Nintendo console games so that people know when they come to my channel that you know everything I do is available on a Nintendo console if they want to get the game too, if they want to play it along with me maybe they have the game. All my um, Let's Plays thus far are Nintendo console friendly um, so you know people probably get that early on watching my channel, watching my videos They're, they probably notice oh you know she plays all the Nintendo games so that is something to think about. You by no means have to do that. Um, but I think it's pretty cool when either you go right off the bat with you know a bunch of games from one console or you do a game from every single console ever made right off the bat. It's It really just defines you and your channel and people will look forward to that later. So don't be afraid to um, do that or stick to one. There's no wrong way to go with that. So don't be nervous about that um, just because I don't at this point in time I might um, sometime in the future I probably will I you you never know it's um, not like it's against the law to change that so um, but that's kind of a fun thing to do just to get a reputation so that people will know oh you play all PlayStation games or oh you're PlayStation 2 or you do or maybe you could get even more creative with it with or specific with it with genre like oh that person does all the shooter games or you know just to kinda get a reputation for yourself um, that definitely helps with game choice and that's probably after your first game you've ever chosen but that's just kind of a follow-up to that I guess 
Um, and yeah, that is all I have for choosing a game right now. So I hope that helped. Remember, choose a game you love, could talk about a really long time, and you know really well. Um, that's the best way to go. Um, Alright, so the last thing I'm going to talk about today is going to be in another video again. Um, and it's going to be um, commentary style. So, yes, I will be talking about choosing a commentary style and choosing your approach for making your Let's Plays next. And yeah, this has been Madame Wario with um, more on how to make Let's Plays and how to choose a game. Your very first game. So, I will see you again for um, choosing your approach.